Now, today's story is about Dennis. Dennis did laundry in his bedroom as a child to raise money for school fees. Little did he know he was sowing the seeds for a successful business. Eugene, take a look at this, and after that, we'll talk some more. My name is Dennis Smith. I'm the CEO of Kingdom Laundry and General Cleaning Services. This is my story. I started um, laundry as full-time business um, whilst I was in school. Um, from my primary days, I just like ironing. So I do it for people. At that age, I was very small and then I do it, not necessarily because of money, but I like doing it. And my parents too, they were not having much money to cater for my education. So those that I do ironing for at times, they provide me with books, some school uniform, and some give me money for school and stuff. My education hasn't been easy at all because um, I went to stay with one of my aunties at Togo. As I went there, they tried and sent me to school. And my daddy was asking that they should bring me back to Ghana. So when I came, then one of my uncle took me to school. I was very good academically, and at the same time in sports, I was a goalkeeper. So the mistress saw me one day and recalled me that she can see that I'm very serious about education, but she can see there's no fans coming, so she wants to help. Then about three, four days, she came back to me that there is an orphanage home, so you want to enroll me there. He called my parents and we agreed on everything. Moving from North Legon to Dodoa is becoming a burden. So I have to change the school. So I moved to Guantanamo from one. So there was a school, Experimental GSS. That's the name of the school. So I started from one over there. Still, the challenges were still coming. So I still continue doing pricing for people. So I, I get my money from the laundry because by then I had a lot of people. So I wasn't giving class the necessary attention because when I stay in class the next morning I won't be able to come to school because there's no money. God willing I finished my GSS. I got um, a school of my choice that's a Wakwa State College but the funds wasn't there so I have to let it go and then search for different money so I was still doing the laundry then I got some small money. I came to Dalcom College and I was one of the best students in the general art class. It wasn't easy. And unfortunately, I couldn't finish the school just because of school fees. The moment I became a school dropout, I quickly printed out flyers, very nice ones. So I moved from churches. I distributed them on top of cars. So I was doing laundry. I was moving. Then I was doing some savings to you, but it wasn't easy. Once I was doing that laundry, I met one guy at UBA Bank. Yeah, um, I went there, nicely dressed one day, talking to them, and I told them that I'm into laundry business. He said, you are not a customer here, so we don't trust you. We can't give our clothing to you. I went back home. Then something dropped into my mind again, that I should go and open an account over there. Though I wasn't having any money in the account, but I do go there every day just to build that relationship because it was in my mind that when I was able to get them, I can get the whole banking home. So that could be an opportunity for me. So God willing, then one of the guys there called that, Dennis, where are you? I said, oh, I'm home. Then it's okay. Charlie, my party be get some jacket for you. Can't they can't take them? I said, wow. So quickly, I went there and then the jacket were about four. Fortunately for me, I came in touch with one guy. He is called Prince at the same UBA bank. So what he did was, he told me that, Dennis, I want to help you. So what will happen is every week, I'll make sure I'll give you a job. And my miracle came from there. I was there one day and then he called me that, Dennis, I want to help you. Um, I'm having this amount of money. I want to give it to you to start something. And I also did a lot of savings. So when he bought the little that he wanted to support me with, then I added what I was having to open 
the laundry where I am now. Though I wasn't able to finish, but I learned one or two things and I'm applying it to my daily life as in handling business. Without education, I wouldn't be where I am today. I wish to go back to school because I really have the passion for education. What I really want to do, I wanted to become a radio presenter. Yeah, because from my childhood, I love playing with radio. I still have the passion. If I get the chance, I will still continue and become that radio presenter I want to become. My three keys to success are determination, hard work, and education. With the hard work and the determination, you need education to support it, for you to be able to be a complete person. You can't help but applaud a guy like this. Open I mean, an account? They, yeah, yeah. <laughs> open an account to 10 cities. Smart guy. Deciding to go there, you know, and be friends with them, mm. you know, exactly. create that familiarity, mm. and then based on that, you could, you yeah, know, Sometimes when circumstances system. just seem unsurmountable, you have to think outside the exactly. box, right? What do you the, think the, about that? The don't story? give up spirit, you know, he has yeah. is, is what, you know, actually kept him moving on. Yes. And I always say that if you discover yourself, um, your passion, because I realized his passion was ironing, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, dealing with clothes. So clothes. Yeah. Uh, exactly. So mm -hmm. if you discover yourself, your passion, mm -hmm. I think you need to work, work on it. Mm -hmm. um, make sure you also come up with something which will make you stand out, mm -hmm. you know, in the, same, in the same thing that you are doing. And the passion keeps, you, keeps driving you, you know, to where, where you really want to get to.